What? Hello. So there's only one reason you could be here. You played VTOL VR for 11 minutes, mastered every craft, snub war thunder, and decided you're now a fully fledged professional pilot. And you want to kick things up a notch. It's either that, or you realize that flying an attack gunship is where the real danger's at, dreamed of floating gently above a tree line, exposing your vulnerable swinging rotor, and got an adrenaline dump right to your plums. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether it's worth it or not. Worth it, you say? But I've already bought VESOL VR. Does that mean I have to pay? Yes, yes, $12 to be exact. But before you run out and do that, there are some things you need to know. Well, unless you're an impatient nine-year-old with access to your parents' Opus credit card. Yeah, I haven't heard of Opus either. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret. The H94 has a lot of, well, not bad bits, but pain points. But that's not where this story ends, you see. So let's take a little step back and talk about that. Also, when I say step back, you could say retreat, but that's also a topic for later. And before you consider buying the H94, you're gonna need something else. Friends. The H94, in all of its glory, is a cooperative beast. A synergistic relationship between a man at the front and a man at the back. So that means two things. You're gonna need a competent gunner, or you're gonna need a competent pilot. Or maybe you wrestle and Perfect. the winner decides who's in control first. With all that being said, you might think this is a strictly two-person craft, but no. As a single person, you can switch between the seats and use the more dynamic gunner seat. But for the more sophisticated weapon systems, you'll need a nose-on to target them. And sometimes that's not possible unless you've got somebody controlling your next gun run on Love Island. Also, if you're planning to bring a friend and you decide to be the getter, prepare a sick bag because this baby is not what you might call a stable relationship. And speaking of stability, there's something you need to know about the controls. Now, your average time to boot up a jet in VTOL is around 30 seconds, but the chopper takes close to a minute to let the engines and rotor do their work. If you're patient, you know that's not a problem. But that's the least of your worries. How bad is it, Doc? Beatle VR is one of those games where you go super fast, magic happens, and your million dollar jet launches into the air. But really, it's just a missile with flaps. Helicopters, however, defy physics in some strange way, and because of this, the angered ghost of Galileo has created Retreating Blade Stall, a hazardous flight condition in helicopters and other rotary... You're gonna flip. Jeez Louise, just get to the point. Okay, if between the start of this video and this point here, you've bought the DLC, you may have noticed that in what seems like a random encounter, your wonderful new purchase has decided to end your life for no reason. But no, sometimes choppers just do be like that. And I'm here to tell you that dropping this little stick on the left down halfway is the trick to just smoothing things out. So retreating blade store might scare you, but clicking the like button isn't really scary unless I mean, you're afraid or something. <laughs> but one thing that truly scares me is being bored to death. Jets are exciting. You slap on the afterburners and you go full nitro boost. But nothing bores me more than this next subject. The AH-94 is very slow. And that'll take some getting used to. And no, no, slapping on 128 hydras does not make it faster, even if you try going backwards and firing them all at once. So either get used to taking 45 minutes to do your commute to Satan's POW camp, or try the X-15 mod and launch into space. Oh, and another point on that Hydra's thing, it's ridiculous how many you can attach, but at least you can finally feel like the decimating warlord from your past life that you tell the other kids at Airsoft about. It's built for ground attack, and sneaky ground attack is where this thing really shines. This means you can forget outrunning missiles, and I'd rather drop the throttle and leave my fate to Mother Earth than have an AIM-120 jammed in my cockpit. In terms of missions, the DLC comes with Surprise Attack, one of the most frustrating missions I have ever played next to that stealth one in the F-45. But that was until I realized how small the radar signature is of the AH-94. What is this? An aircraft. Ants! You stay close to the ground with barely anything equipped and you'll survive. But fuck around and you're dead. I will say, the ground radar is very cool to use too, and seeing the enemies pop up when you use it is pretty damn satisfying. 
But no instruction manual? Come on! If you decide to pick this up, know that being with friends is where it's at. You will scream, feel like an idiot, and crash and burn to the ground, but ultimately, it'll pay off. Carving through the urban landscapes is incredibly fun, and the challenge of landing on a helipad gives more gratification than some measly aircraft carrier. And if you want more justification why the H94 is so good, take a look at this video, and if you like the video, leave a like.